here we have our piece of copper. And we're going to cut it to length. This is our copper cutter. They're now working. And we're cutting this piece of copper to length based on the piece that we removed being that piece because it has had multiple lengths and has been previously repaired using electric tape so that the line would remain in service until normal business hours so we could do a repair. Almost done making this cut. Someone turned on the faucet because there came some more water. All right, as I said, we're cutting this piece of copper here. We're going to check our link first. Make sure that it fits in the desired area. That being said, we will see that we have a pretty snug fit right there. By doing so, we're going to take these here, top of hers, our process fitting, and we're exactly halfway down. By doing this, we are going to run out of Sharpie, mark our line at an approximate point within a, you know, a sixteenth of an inch, thank you Nick, of exactly where we need the line to be. Piece of copper seems to have been scored. I have no idea how that would happen. Ferguson. Anyway, we, now that we have them marked, we slide these over. These are slip couplings made by someone <laughs> for the progress. <laughs> we use this here, progress. To install this without soldering. The joy of soldering is that once we slide this into place, and I kind of just give that a do battle, and she's in place, and we come over here and slide this into place and give her a do battle. Like so. Come on, little lady, slide in place for me. There you go, line up. You just line these here pipes up. Sometimes they're a little easier to do than others. This one is arguing with me. Anyway, slide that one right up there. Oh, a little far. Back into place. And then you take the rigid progress. Make sure it's on. Holy crap, my green light's working today? Green light hasn't worked in like six months. Awesome. Anyway, we slide this massively heavy oversized gun that should be straight, hand to hand rigid, into place. Now, gently maneuvering it around all the existing utilities. Graciously placing it over the line. Check to make sure we're getting a good fit. And we just squeeze the trigger. Boom. Uh, solder what? And then again we move down the line until it's placed in the correct spot. Feel. Feels good, looks good. And we squeeze. Don't put your fingers in there like I was about to do, because that will hurt very much. As we continue down the line, we uh, now have a little bit more room. As you can see here, once we have some more light on the situation, 
courtesy of Milwaukee, we squeeze the trigger again. Boom, boom. That is now in place. We'll move down the line one more time and get her in place one more time. Make sure. There she goes. She is in place. We'll squeeze this here trigger. Where did I find the trigger? Where is the trigger? Down there. One more time. Boom! boom We now have a repair one and a half inch copper water main with no leaks.